all sorts of chemical reactions take place in the cells of our bodies. Let's look, for example, at a cell from the spinal cord, a nerve cell, or neuron. It extends itself by way of an axon to communicate with other neurons. Such axons can be up to a meter long. The neuron can send messages in the form of molecules. It's all very well to communicate, but who carries the message? In this case, it can be a special protein, which we call a molecular motor. It's this motor that does the carrying. It can carry a cargo and has leg-like appendages, which enable it to move. And the molecular motor trudges along the track step by step. The fuel for these motors, which also supplies energy to the rest of the cell, is a special molecule called ATP. Scientists are trying to understand these molecular motors. They isolate the molecule and then duplicate it a great number of times to create a crystal. Using very powerful x-rays, they can pinpoint the atoms and thus observe the structure of the molecular motor. They find the ATP here, at the heart of the motor. Next, they hope to gain an insight into how these microscopic motors never fail to move in the same direction. Sometimes, when the messages get jammed, the result is disease. And a greater understanding of molecular motors might help us launch new remedies.